Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a super cool find and an awesome bolo, and we're gonna talk about it. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I'm gonna knock your socks off with this one. I'm getting ready to ship and this piece is amazing. I picked it up at a church sale. I saw it and it's nothing like anything I've ever sold before, but I just thought it was completely amazing. And I'm gonna show you a close up of it as well, but check out this. It is a folk art piece and it's a witch so it's halloween i think that it is vintage it's signed right there but wait until you see this look at the back it's a piece of driftwood are you kidding me so um i bought a bunch of stuff at that sale and it was basically just bundle it all together and make an offer so i'm not even certain what i actually paid for this i really didn't know if it was going to be a big money bolo or if I was going to sit on it forever, but I was willing to take a chance. And I ended up selling this pretty quickly for $70 plus shipping. So let me know in the comments, would you have picked up this awesome piece? All right, I just want to get you guys a close up of, look at the mouth. I mean, there's the perfect ridge for the mouth. This is like the perfect piece of driftwood for this item. It is just fantastic. I... I just, I can't, I have no words. It's just art. And it says JW, it looks like, I don't know if that's 40 or maybe it's 90. Uh, maybe it's like 90 for 1990. But uh, again, I'm guessing this is probably just somebody, a local artist that has made this. And this is the back of it. What do you guys think about this? I just love it. Just think it's one of the coolest things I have ever sold. So do you think I sold it too cheap or do you think I got a good price for it? What would you guys have listed it for? Would love to hear your feedback in the comments. Um, I saw this at a church sale and I was like, now that is cool. And my husband was like, where'd you get that? Like he was at the church sale with me and I found it. Yes, I get props for that one. All right, let's... Um, Let's just talk about this. It is driftwood, and this is one of the coolest art, folk art pieces I have found. And I want to show you some other driftwood art. And it definitely ranges from bread and butter to big money. I don't think I would recommend doing an auction, starting the auction low. I would start the auction at the minimum you are willing to take. So start your auction high. Okay, and let's look at some of these different driftwoods. So the first one here that I want to show you is a lot of times you're going to see these. Um, it's on a piece of driftwood. It's a wood carved bird or animal, and it is sitting on driftwood. Okay, I'm talking about the hand carved driftwood. But uh, definitely some of these can fetch a pretty penny as well, like the birds. Oh, there's mine. We'll come back to that. All right. So right here, this one only went for $9.95. It says two folk art, hand carved, hand and painted faces on driftwood. And mine were, mine were painted. Most of them are not painted. Um, could they have gotten more if they just would have done a buy it now or best offer? Quite possibly. Um, or started their auction at a higher price because it is going to take a certain type of person that collects maybe driftwood items or is looking for faces. Unique and different art is going to be your buyer for this. And there may not be two people fighting over this item. There could be, but in this case, it only went for $9.95 plus shipping. The next item is this here, which is another witch. And you guys, it's amazing. And they only got $18 for it. Price those items high. Wait for the right buyer. This is vintage Halloween. Use vintage Halloween in your title. It is searched. And vintage Halloween is a lot of times a big money bolo. If you have not watched my vintage Halloween videos, definitely go and check those out. It is crazy what vintage Halloween goes for. 
I'm guessing the person that bought this is either a collector or they bought it because they are going to turn around and sell it for way more. The next item is another witch. <laughs> well, they're calling it an old man. I think it kind of looks like a witch. Wood old man face, tree root driftwood, hand carved folk art. Again, they only sold it for 20 bucks. I, you know, this one is not, it probably looks more like an old man than a witch. But I think the witch is going to be more collectible because of the Halloween aspect of it. But 20 bucks plus shipping, not bad if you can pick it up cheap. Uh, this is another, this one they're calling a wood spirit old man tree face. And this one, again, sold for $19.99. So a lot of work goes into these and a lot of talent. I mean, could you imagine trying to carve something like that? So again, my recommendation is price it high and wait. We're going to get into some higher dollar ones. Stay tuned. Look how cool this is. This one went for $35. And a lot of them are calling it forest spirit face, rustic hanging wall art. Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. This one here sold for $34.99. Uh, wood carved face, tree root, driftwood, handmade folk art, vintage organic man. Organic man. I don't know what that means. It's kind of fun to look at the keywords that people use in their titles. All right. The next one here is really cool. And it only went for $34.31. It's amazing. Oh, just so cool. Look at that crazy hair. That's awesome. And the next one is really cool as well. Looks like she's like swimming. Is that a mermaid? It's a mermaid. $39.99 on that one. And again, it is uh, driftwood. The next one here is another one that is a tree branch, driftwood carved. And it's just carved into the side. That one went for $39.99. So they set their buy it now price a little bit higher. The next one is this one right here. It went for $49.99. And this one says Alaska. So it's just signed by the artist. Really cool piece, right? And the next one. <laughs> I like the ones that have the wonky hair. Folk art carved old man beard face spirit tree. $59.99 on that one. Look at the teeth. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's see the next one here. So mine did sell on the higher end of solds. This was really neat. It says vintage Pete Cobb signed wood carving, Arkansas Ozarks folk art. And you can see it is signed Pete Cobb. Really cool. 85 bucks on that one. The next one is, look how detailed that is. And it sold for $87.50. Folk art, hand carved driftwood, tree branch, old man face. So if I see tree art, I'm definitely going to grab it. I'm just going to price it high and wait for the right buyer. Here is mine, you guys. And I put vintage Halloween hand-painted witch driftwood folk art. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage. I mean, the driftwood is probably definitely vintage. Uh, there is a, uh, let's see, let me find it. JW, I think that maybe is 90, but I wasn't sure. So I put the question mark there and I usually do not put punctuation in my titles. If I do, I separate it by um, spaces so it doesn't mess up the search. But look how cool that is. And I just disclosed that I think it's vintage, but not sure. And it's just a really cool piece. Let me zoom in for you. Check it out. Is that amazing or what? I think it's amazing. Oh, what did I sell it for? Um, I think I took a best offer of $70 plus shipping. And the last item here went for, not really sure because it is marked out, but $123.45 is what they were asking. So again, they priced it up and not sure what it sold for, but this one is from 1992 and it is artist signed and very, very cool piece. All right, you guys, did you learn something new about driftwood? <sighs> 
<laughs> I love it. Um, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. It is something that I would source again. It was a fun sale. Like it sold and I was so excited because it's just something different, um, unexpected. And I got that at a church sale and just a fun item. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already and leave me an emoji of a hat in the comments. Thanks for watching.